Right, hi guys, Stephen Dupree here again, and yeah, just say hello. And yes, today I would like to just discuss uh, some fundamental principles in martial arts. Uh, I get a lot of questions about you know, uh, posture. What is posture? What's the correct posture? How long should my stance be? What's the correct positioning? How do you propagate energy? It, there's a lot of questions involved in martial arts. A lot of fundamental principles, and I'll. I'm going to do my best to address a handful of them today. All right. So starting off, I'm going to just take a quick look at the front stance. So front stance, as the name suggests, facing forward, feet forward, take one step back. The length of your stance, there isn't one correct length, which a lot of people don't get. The length of the stance, just like with all postures and all stances, is relative to the situation and desired outcome. Think of your posture and your stance as body architecture. It is the physical manifestation, physical manifestation in reality, of your will in dealing with an external stimulus. So you have a problem in the world, you manifest your posture and your stance and your body geometry and architecture in such a way that it is appropriate and efficient to deal with that problem. So a front stance, for example, if I take a front stance, this body architecture, this body geometry, this alignment, this unity and purpose connects me in such a way that I am ready to receive energy coming from this direction and I am ready to propagate energy back. So, for example, if I were to lift something really, really heavy on the floor, this is not the right posture to do it. <laughs> if I wanted to pick up 100 kilos like this, I would hurt myself. So your posture and your stance needs to be suitable to its desired outcome. So you, that's why a stance, it shouldn't be static. You train in static to learn just the fundamentals of it. But stance and posture and movement should be dynamic. It should be adapting to a desired outcome to overcome something in the world. So if I want to pick up something heavy, I would probably go into a horse stance. This allows me to recruit maximal amounts of muscles. It puts me in a stable position. It makes sure my spine straight. I can lift with my legs, my glutes, my back, my core. So you need to match the stance to the purpose, to the desired outcome. Okay, so back to the front stance. You want to obviously set yourself in such a way um, that you are maximizing your effectiveness, your efficiency and efficacy in your desired vector. So what I mean by that is there is something you want to deal with and that something is in a specific direction. If you don't know what direction it is, how are you going to deal with it? <laughs> okay, so you want to manifest your posture and your will in the direction of your opponent. I'm just going to wait for a second let the truck pass. Okay. So unifying your intent, unifying your body in purpose means creating all these micro sorry, micro adjustments in your body tension so you can hopefully see it's a little bit far away but you know, you're opening up the hips, you're creating torque in the joints. You know what? You're not stiffening up, but you want to remove slack. So when you need relaxed movement, yes, but that relaxed movement isn't complete relaxation. What it, when they say relaxed movement, it means only use tension, which is necessary and beneficial to the unifying purpose. So. You're relaxing everything that does not contribute and using that only which does. Okay? So that's a relaxation, relaxation concept. <sighs> okay, so you also want to center yourself. You want to make sure that your intent and your posture unifies in purpose in the channel of your the vector that you wish to manifest in. So what I mean by that is if you take a front stance and you're leaning like this, you can see my center is pushed forward like this and my intent is kind of, this is more like I'm gonna catch a ball, like a, a ball that's been kicked up into the air, I'm gonna catch something. 
my, my intent is here. That's not where I want it. I want my intent in front of me. So I need to manifest my posture here. This, this is what I want to deal with. So that's why visualization in your training is so important. If you don't have visualization, if you don't have an aim, then the, the postures and stances that you're taking are arbitrary. There, there's no connection or purpose. And how are you going to refine a skill that you're not associating or connecting to a purpose? You need to visualize what it is that you want to achieve. So if I take a front stance, I, I'm manifesting my focus here. Okay, there you are. Here I am. I'm ready for you. I don't take a front stance here because here's my, you know, some of my intent is here now. But from here, you know, the, the, trying to explain this, hopefully it's making sense. From here, the, the mechanics, the posture, the alignment is off. You want to center, unify intent, adjust everything together to harmonize towards your focus. Yeah. My intent front stance. Yeah. So moving this way. Side snap kick. Side thrust kick. Playing around. Ah, okay, so I'm going to end this off there and I'm going to watch it and hopefully I've communicated a few important points. I'll try to be more concise and to the point in the future, but I will have content that contains valuable information for those that are willing and able to extract it. So much love to you all. Happy training. And yeah, always strive for the betterment of that which you love. Make sure you refine your value systems and aim for the greatest good. Cheers.